<clears throat> Good morning, Aquaba guys. Welcome to another Pillow Talk. First, I would like to thank God for allowing us to see another day breathing life into us, giving us another opportunity to get ourselves right with Him. Today's Pillow Talk is going to be about blended families. Should the stepfather or stepmother have any say in the stepchild's life? What do I mean about that? For instance, if a woman is married but had kids prior, should she allow the stepdaughter or son to be corrected by her husband? Especially if the woman had a son. As long as the relationship was established and the stepchild feels comfortable with the stepfather, the stepson feels comfortable with the stepfather, and that stepfather genuinely loves him, and he's doing things that are incorrect, I feel absolutely he should be able to correct him. I'm not at Anyway, suggesting, raising his hand to him, anything like that. But boys can be manipulative to mothers. We do the best we can with our boys and our grandsons, but they're very manipulative and they know that we don't really know them. We don't really know how to raise them, that they need a man. The same as a man and female relationship women tend to spoil their boys so a lot of times when a man see oh no he's not right he's doing this xyz i feel like if that husband has character and he's a great man suck it up back away allow him to say what he need to say to that male child Especially if he's correcting him out of love. Especially. Because sometimes women and the male child, we could be fussing at them till the cows come home. And it only takes that man one thing to say or do one thing. And then he gets it correct. I have two daughters. And, you know, my husband is the father of my youngest daughter. Well, my husband and I, we were friends for a very long time before getting married. And I knew that he loved my daughter. And he would correct her. He would say things to her. And it wouldn't be yelling or anything like that, but he would correct her. He can't act as if the child that we had together only gets the correction and not the stepchild because he is the stepfather. I didn't mind my husband correcting my daughter because she didn't have her biological father. He was in and out of jail, and when he was out, he wasn't around. My husband is a good man a good father and provider. And if he seen something that I didn't see, he had my permission to correct it because he was far from abusive. Far from abusive. If you ask me, he didn't say enough because those girls are a couple of spoiled brats. God gave two parents and it was a reason why. He had given two parents. We women, we can't do everything by ourselves. We just cannot. And we need to stop acting as if, you know, those of us women who desire a man, we need to stop acting as if we don't need them. Because if a man doesn't feel needed, he's not going to feel the need to come to you because you got it already. You know, what's his point if he's not needed and if you can do everything by yourself? Or they have this thing, well, need or want, or whatever. 
God gave that desire. So you can, you know, switch it around and say whatever it is. And it's true. There are some women who will stay single for so long that they're used to it. Because nowadays, there's not a lot of good catches out there. People lie. People don't have good intentions. People are tricked. You know, people have criminal backgrounds. It's a lot of reasons why people are single, you know, or some men just not interested in women. Some women not interested in men. There's a lot of reasons. Incarceration plays a big factor as well. But for those women who had chances at a good man but turned them off because you just, oh, I got this, or I don't need this, or we've been doing this on our own, then continue. But I'm here to tell you, we can't really teach a male child to be a man. We can do our best. They need that from a man. They need it from a man, especially male children. And girl children, they need their father because the man is supposed to, the father is supposed to be their first love. And when a female doesn't have what she needs from her father, she goes out and look for love in all the wrong places. That father is supposed to be telling that female, that female child, that she's beautiful, she's loved, she's cared for, she's precious. She's supposed to get those things from her father. You can always tell the difference when a female does not have her father. You can always tell. So I want to know if you guys feel like a stepfather should step in, you know, and be a father to that stepchild. If he loves you and love your children, in my opinion, I see nothing wrong with him. If you have a great husband. But if you don't have a great husband, I guess there's no need for him to say anything to your children. Continue in and raising them yourself. But it's hard, you know, being a single parent. And if that husband is not going to be on board, then what's the sense of marrying? Now, for the stepmothers, you know, um, our battles are different, especially if our husbands have female children, because a lot of times there's jealousy from the daughter's mother. You know, I don't want her doing her hair. I don't want her touching my daughter. I don't want her around. Hey, listen, blended families are alive and well. Blended families. What you need to do is everybody need to sit, have a meeting, because this is in the best interest of the child. Get your two women, the, the child's mother and the wife, on board to respect one another because it's unhealthy for a child to see two adults arguing over them and at times they can tend to manipulate the situation so if you have two or three people on board with one another and they all have the best interest of the child and they get along there's nothing that child can do to get away the child can't play on the heartstrings of the biological mother or the stepmother or the biological father. And the same with the male child. So that was just my talk for the day. I just wanted to know. And excuse me for not being visual this morning. I got up late. I'm kind of looking a mess. You guys already know what I look like. So you guys have a great day on purpose. Know that I love you all. Until we meet again. Have a great day on purpose. Love you all. Bye bye.